What's up, YouTube? This your girl Deidre here with another video for you guys. A long awaited video that I've been mean to do, but you know, at least I'm doing it. And, um, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. So, I'm pretty sure you guys, if you look, watch my videos, you've seen that I um, unboxed this brand. Ooh, sorry. Uh, Shawnee. I hope that I hope I said the name right. I've literally seen this brand everywhere. Like I've seen it everywhere. So right now we're just gonna I'm I'll just cut to the chase with this. So without further ado, let's do it. I already washed my face. My face is clean today, so plus I got my hair up. I had to get my hair up so I could even do this. But I think what would be fun to try is um because, of course, the little makeup bag didn't come with, like, concealer and foundation. So, I have my own. This one is uh, CoverGirl uh, Healthy Elixir. And I have literally showed this to, like, co-workers. If you see my father walk past, sorry. And she, I have a friend that does makeup. And she said, this is too dark. And this is a rosy tone. <laughs> they go pops. <laughs> So my friend decided to give me these. This is from um, Clinique. A friend of mine gave me two samples of this. This is the foundation. This is the concealer. So I figured, why not? And so let's get down to it. All right. Okay, just to make this like disclaimer, I am not a makeup guru, I am not a makeup artist, I am, what you say, a makeup enthusiast. <laughs> so, that being said, let's continue this. So, since I have uh, my own foundation concealer, and what my friend got me, I'm thinking I'm going to try both sides. This side I'll use for what I have, and this side I'll use for what my friend has gave me, so... And just pray I don't come out like a clown, guys. I hope I don't. Let's turn this lighting on. And let's see how this works. I kind of, you think I sprayed? You think I did too much? I hope I did it, guys. So let's see. Okay, and my friend who's a makeup artist, well, um, she doesn't even count herself as a makeup artist, she just counts herself as like, um, a skincare person, so I'm like, I guess, I guess, I guess, and she told me this was too dark, and who knows, this actually might, but I did, I do like this. Let me show you guys product. I do actually like this. It feels great on the skin. It feels like I don't even have this on. Uh, make sure to get the eyelid. And I'm gonna try this out. Alrighty. I think that should be enough. I feel like I should put more right here. Because it's supposed to be a uh, full coverage. Is a lightweight full coverage makeup, which is definitely lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on me at all. Like it feels like I just splash water on me. That's how that's how light this feels. It doesn't. And I and I used this foundation on my face before, and it's pretty decent. It is very very decent. All right. I hope I put enough on here. I just hope this is enough. <laughs> and yeah, I know there's a difference because, like, maybe it's the lighting or something, but I don't really see a difference. Like, I really legitly don't see a difference. So, I don't want to cake this on here. I literally caked it here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on one more game. One thing I don't like. Ah! Crap. Oh, one thing I don't like about these pumps. <laughs> Let's go up here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, well, got my eyebrows. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alrighty. And I see a slight difference, at least on my forehead. I don't know. Maybe my friend is right. One side is good. Now, this is the concealer. I showed my friend this concealer. This is the CoverGirl Clean Concealer. I don't know if you can see the print. I had this for a little bit. And she told me this is too rosy. Like, I need to get more yellow and gold undertones. And this is my first time really buying makeup for real. So, like, I couldn't even tell her, like, anything. This is, like, literally where I put, like, my concealers. Yeah, let me not put too much. I forget, I'm not doing, I'm not putting everything on my face. So since I use this sponge, I'm going to use this to like really cake it in there. So let's see if there's a real difference. Starting with my under eyes. She says I can still do these products, but they just, she's like, it's too rosy. And, Okay. Trying these on my face again, I, I see what she's talking about. Cause this just this just made this pop like it just popped. Alrighty, all right. This is one face, and here's the other. <laughs> I see the difference. Hold on, I actually see the difference. <laughs> okay, okay. So, let's try what she has given me. It's a Clinique product. It's definitely a Clinique product. I forgot the actual name of it because, like, you know, her handwriting is, like, atrocious. I don't even think you can see that, but, yeah. It ain't that great. So, I'm going to put on the foundation. I used some of this foundation for my birthday. For my birthday. And I'm going to use one of my brushes to do that. So, here is the foundation. Let's spread this out through out here. And you know, these samples are pretty good samples. Like, I don't even need like that much. And don't judge me. <laughs> but I don't really have like a lot here. Um, should I use this? I don't know. And this is the foundation that she has given me. I can already tell off break this has like some type of thing with it. Let me just get another makeup brush. I mean, sponge here. Use another one. Alright, let's see. And the one thing I've noticed is off break under my eyes. I see how it's different. This is like a little bit warmer. I just thought I'd do this. Okie dokie. And this is also supposed to be a full coverage. Alright. And so, let me get the Okie dokie. So that was the foundation. Which I'm saving on a rainy day. She gave me a lot. Thank you. And so, we're going to use the concealer now. Which is not that much concealer here. I'm trying, y'all. She didn't give me that much. Alright. And what's, and you see how, like, there's, like, a major difference between the concealer that I have versus the concealer that was given to me by my other makeup enthusiast friend. I'm using the last bit because there, there's, there's not really any more to this. 
and that's that's all for the concealer. So let's see. And she was like, you know, I didn't even need a lot. And it looks like it looks like I don't need a whole lot when it comes down to this type of concealer. All right. Okay. So this side I already had with my own products. Here's the side that my friend gave me. Instantly, I see that this side is a lot warmer than this side. But you know, moving on. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and use eyeshadow. So, the eyeshadows that came in my makeup my makeup box for Shawnee is these colors here. I'm trying not to blind you guys. These colors here. These colors here. And uh, these colors here, and the and this and this is the color palette I'm actually going to use for myself. So I hope I don't come out looking like a clown, y'all. Like I really don't want to come out here looking like a clown. But you know, trial and error, right? Trial and error. If I could open this. If I could open this, this would be nice. <laughs> okay, got it. And let's see what type of brushes should I use. Uh, I see. So I already kind of use those. I guess I can use this. Use this brush. In it. Use oh sorry. Use these brush right here. If y'all can see that. And the makeup box had like other stuff that I could use. So I don't even know where to begin with this. I honestly do not know where to begin with this. So here it is. And um I think I might start out with this, at least use this as like a base. I can't believe I'm actually doing one of these makeup videos. I never thought I would. I always wanted to, but just didn't think I would. Like this one I want to use as a base. So at least get the rest of the colors on my eyes. I just want to get my lid. We get that out the way. Like I said, hope I'm doing this right. So we're gonna go. It's hard. This is pretty pigmented. I'm actually kind of surprised. This is actually very, very pigmented. Uh, still don't know how I'm going to do this. But we will see. And hopefully I do this right. <laughs> No, I think I'm even. I think I'm even. So, okay. Let's see. These two almost look the same, don't they? Mm. I think I might use this color for my crease. Like, right in this area here. That I might do. Matter of fact, not even might, I am going to do. But, oh, it's a little issue. 
I feel like I need some more in this. This is my good hand, so I might as well just use this. Uh, when you try to do stuff. Hmm. I just want this to be a bit more, ooh, <laughs> a bit more pivoted. Dag, I think I messed up a little bit. Yeah, but it's fixable. I saw people on on other makeup stuff use water to do it, so let's see if it's a bit more pigmented. Let's see if this works. I never thought to like use something like that, like spritz water on it. But let's see what happens when I add some water. Let's try here. Okay, that did that did a little something. I don't know. To me it did a little something. Okay. Like I said, I kind of messed up up here, but I'm going to fix it. All right. So, like I said, I'm going to use this color here for my crease. Mm, that's what it looks like on the brush. Let's see how it looks on me. Wow. Please don't make me look like a clown today. <laughs> don't make me look like a clown today. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's put some on there. Like, really put some on there. Just put some here on the crease. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I always get nervous, like in the middle of me putting stuff on, because I, I don't know if I did a good job. Because, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. Never put me in that category, because I will smoothly correct you. So we're gonna go up in here. All right. Let's hope I did good. So, okay, let's see. Since I got here, I would love to put this on my lid. So, let's try that color. Hmm. Now, this is unexpected. I did not expect that. It doesn't look like it's showing. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's showing as much, but it's it's getting there. Just make sure to get my whole lid. How about that? That's actually not bad. I, I'm liking how this is looking. See, this is me getting nervous before I'm, I'm done. <laughs> So let's go here. Mm. Damn. Spilt. Oh, okay, hold on. Did I get it? I hope I did. I actually really like this color. This color actually looks pretty good. Okay, I am noticing I am starting to itch. Not on my eyelids, but right down here. On this side. So cover girl starting to itch a little bit. Oh. Either that or I'm just not used to like always putting on makeup because I don't always put on makeup. That I don't do. I don't always put on makeup. Alrighty, not bad with this. 
I'm trying to cover that up. All right. And I can't lie, I like how this looks. I, I spilled a little bit, which I'll fix later. So, last final color. I'm going to use this up here, like create like a lunar moon thing. Make sure I get a good cake on there. All right, so normally how I do this is I go up like that. That's exactly how I do it. Like I said, I am not that great of a makeup person. Okay. I'm gonna try to use my other hand for this one because it just it just makes more sense to do it. That way I just hope I do this right. So I go here. I'm gonna just trace like that. Just make like a little moon thing right there. Okay, so this looks pretty even so far. Alright, so that's my eyes right there. And let me get like this because I just don't <laughs> sorry sorry and just want to fix that this is some very pigmented type of stuff like I actually really like this like wow little bit of spillage like right under here but it's not really too too bad all right, moving on. All right, so the second thing that came in the uh, makeup box is two eyeliner, yeah, yeah, two eyeliner pencils and two lip liner pencils. These are the two lip liner pencils. Y'all can see that. That's what that looks like. And I'm not, I'm not a lip liner type of person, so I know these I won't really use. And these are the two eyeliner pencils. Oops. And that's what these look like. And again, I'm not an eyeliner pencil person. I am more of like a liquid eyeliner person. I, I like to do that. So, but I'm only using shiny. So, let's see how let's see how this works. I'm like never good at this stuff though. Hopefully, this shows up. Like I said, I am more of a liquid eyeliner person. I don't do these pencils. I don't know, it just feels, it feels hard to do this. Like, I have friends that like doing this. Like, they prefer eyeliners little well, pencil eyeliners. They was like it's better for them and they they cannot understand how I can do liquid eyeliners better. And I was like cuz I like how they show and it don't I don't like I, I don't like the chalky feeling of this. I'm like am I the only one that thinks that way? Cuz I'm like I, I feel like I'm the only one that thinks that way. <sighs> Let's try the other eye. Plus, it feels like I'm stabbing my eye, you know? I'm like, ooh. This is, like, kind of hard. I, I really don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it, but we're going to try our best. Oh, my God. I just... Look how chalky this is. I'm trying y'all I'm working with what I have like this is like a mini challenge for me as well using just these products the only thing that's different the only thing that didn't come in the makeup box is my concealer and foundation on like both sides of my face mm. 
Mm. And here's me being spontaneous too. Because I was going to do like a little smoky eye, but I'm like, why not try some different colors? And another thing I don't like about pencil eyeliners is this looks dry. I can't front. It looks dry to me. I don't know how it looks for y'all, but this looks dry to me. I like how pigmented and very liquidy a liquid eyeliner looks like. But, like I said, working with what I have here. Not knocking these products, because so far I love the eyeshadows. This eyeshadow looks super, super nice. I'm going to get this in. Plus, like, it's so hard to get to, like, my lash line. It's like I got to keep drawing it on and drawing it on. Let's see. I already feel like I use a lot of this. Just want to get this middle part here. All right, and that, dearies, is my is the uh, uh, can't talk eyeliner. Looks like okay, guys. So it looks like the next product I have here is the bronzer, and this one I'm just gonna put all over my face. I feel like this might be a little bright. I don't know. Sorry, trying to make sure the lighting is good. Oh boy. Um, yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but I prefer like one of those like, like gold bronzers. Like, I don't even know if I'm even doing anything for real. Y'all see a difference? I feel like I see fallout a little bit. And look at this. I'm literally putting this on. And, the, and well, there's some on the brush. Okay. I'm about to say. Makeup, makeup. Having my girly day. Hey. Oh, I hope you guys don't mind the noise. Like I said, I'm in my dining room where the, the fridge just want to do whatever the hell it wants to do. And my mom's in the living room looking at TV. So, you know. I didn't feel like my room had a good amount of lighting. So here we are, boys and girls. Here we are. And I don't think this bronzer did anything. Like honestly, I don't, I don't see, I don't see how it did anything. Did you guys notice anything? Uh, I don't see anything here. And if I'm doing this wrong, please tell me in the comments. But please be nice. <laughs> like I said before, I'm not, I am not the person that does stuff like this. Like, I'm just now getting into like real makeup stuff for real. Okay. I think that's good enough. I don't even see none on the brush. No, hey, okay, there's still some stuff on the brush. But it makes me wonder, is it the bronzer? Or is it like my foundation that got on it? I can't even tell. I legitly can't tell. But yeah, that's, that's the bronzer. Okay, so the next thing that came in with this box is the bronzer. I'm sorry. Blush. It says blusher. Okay, either way. This is one of them. Oops. Here is the other one. And this is the one I'm thinking about putting on me. I'll be honest, I don't want to put this blush on. If I'm being for real, I don't. I don't think I need it. 
with with this type of look I have on, I don't think I necessarily need this. But I'll entertain it by like putting just a little bit on like the balls on my teeth, like like somewhere right there. Yeah, just a little bit, cause I I, I for real don't want. Mm. I for real don't want to put like a whole rack of blush. Yeah, I think that's enough right there. I think y'all can see that. I don't want to put a whole rack on. Like, just being for real, I don't want to put a whole rack on. I'm not trying to be a clown out here. Okie dokie. And looks like the next things that we have here is shimmers. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly how to put shimmer on. Like, here's one of the shimmers. There's the color. If y'all can see that. The other shimmer. And this is the one I'm thinking about putting on. And this is the last shimmer. I really hope y'all can see these. And I think with... I think I'll go for like the little gold looking shimmer. And that's how the powder look on the inside. And let's see, how how am I gonna do this? Cause what I'm thinking about doing is like putting it like here using this brush. But this is a very loose powder. I don't want to put like a a great amount on here. Ooh, I put too much. <laughs> See, I put way too much, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think that's enough. Let's put let's put this let's put this muchacho back. Let's put this muchacho back. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I, like, this is very new. Ooh, I don't know if y'all saw that. But that's how it looks on my hands. Now, well, let's see. I ain't gonna waste the product, so. I think I want to put it here. Just to put, like, a little bit of shine on there. Like I said, I hope I did this right. Oh my gosh, guys. Did I do this right? Please let me know if I did this right. Because I feel like I messed up. Oh gosh. Okay, let me use this brush again. Just the... To... Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, that's I like that Okay I love this shine I do I do like this shine right here Just want to put it Like up there Cause this shimmer is like interesting so ooh, look at that shine though <laughs> look at that shine <laughs> oh gosh i really like that i like that i get that you know what you know us girls we like a little shimmers we like our shimmers i can st okay okay i can see i can see the thing with the shimmers okay i never understood the appeal with the shimmers maybe i could put like 10 minutes more uh which one which one did I use? I don't even remember which one I used. Ah, it was this one. No, there it is. The one I made a mess on. And what I think I'm going to do is just, like, use my fingers since this one's, like, a really loose type of pigment here.
Yeah, see, there it go. Just a little bit. I can't help it. This is like fun. I see like why people love shivers. Like, I actually see it. I used to see a lot of people do it. And I'd be like, you know, sparkle babies. Guess I'm one of them now. Oh, oh my god, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ew. Hopefully, whenever I edit this video and whatnot, I can make these videos shorter. Like I said, I'm not, I'm still learning how to even put on makeup for real, for real. Ooh, hold on. Mm. I did something with that. Maybe I'm not even using the right brush. I don't even know. But I do like that shimmer. Okay. It's too patchy. Need this to kind of do something here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I like it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now be sure that I got everything. Last but not least, my lips. So we got two glosses. I could have sworn I had two more, but I I haven't opened this in a while. So yeah. Two glosses and three lipsticks. And of course I want to use the red one. Hopefully this red one is not too too bright. Uh, that's what it looks like. Make sure I get my lips right. Ah! Hit my foot. Mmm. Let's just hope I do this right, y'all. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, as I'm putting this on, it, it did take me a little minute to, like, get the groove of this. Like, on me, it's not as bright. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this lipstick, at least with this eyeshadow. I'm not sure. Like, this looks a bit dry. It's very matte. It's very matte. I do like a little bit of a gloss. Like maybe it was like more glossy it would be a little bit better. But that's just my opinion. Of course I look crazy because I'm not matching anything what I'm wearing except for the lipstick. Let me see. What was the other lipstick? Where I put it? There we go. So what do you guys think? You think I should have put this on? Mm, no, I think that would have been kind of weird. I feel like, I feel real 80s. I was thinking about this. Let me see if I can swatch it. Hmm. Let's see if we can try it. Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can try it. I had to get my little makeup removal wipes. I mean, I didn't already have this like with me, but you know. First makeup video, guys. I just want to see what the other one looks like. Because I may end up reapplying the red lipstick on. Oh, and these are good makeup removal wise. I got uh, a vino. They smell good too. I'm like, ooh, delicious. Let me stop being stupid. Mm. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't close this. Oh, I didn't close my shimmer. Let me see. Using what, using what I have. Because honestly, I wouldn't even use... From how these uh, lipsticks look, I wouldn't use these lipsticks for like this particular eye look. I would go with a nude. Just in my opinion, I would go for a nude. I mean, I'm more comfortable with a nude, but like I said, we're going with what's in the bag, the box. So let's see. Just want to see what this look like. This is really bright. This is very, very bright. I'm not even sure if I like this on me. I'm not certain if I like this on me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not certain about this though. I'm not certain about it. So, what do you guys think? This lipstick or the red one? Which honestly, I want to put back on. I can't find. I want to put this back on because this this seems a bit much. I feel like I look crazy. At least with this type of like eye look, uh, subtleness is better. I could just do do a typical gloss. Wait. No. Now you know what? That is like my only complaint with this now. Kinda wish they would have done like a uh, well this type of gloss. I guess there's no harm in finding out. It's getting harder and harder to find like a uh, Ooh, this 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 stuff spilled out. Oh man. I don't like this either. At least with the eye look I have right now. I don't like it. <laughs> I guess I should have gone with my guts here and just did did the red. There ain't no trial and error. Besides, I'm just doing it for fun. So, let's put this back on. I feel like this is like a really retro look. Uh-huh. I think I did everything Peachy King. Okay. Not a fan of this matte because, like, my bottom lip. Maybe I'm not putting too much. I don't know. But it feels good. It does feel good. It feels very creamy. My lips feel good. They're definitely moisturized and parched. But yep, that's that for that. Mm. All right, so we're back in my room, and well, as you can see, there's like different lighting and whatnot. So, uh, my final thoughts with it, it's not too bad. Uh, the shimmers, I I think I had a bit too much with the shim, too much fun with the shimmers. Eyeshadows, as you can see, I absolutely do love it. It blends very well. Like this blends well. The eyeliner, didn't, I didn't particularly care for it. Like I said, I, I'm not a fan of pencil eyeliners. As far as lipstick, 
I just used what they had. I wish they would have thrown in like a nude, like maybe a chocolatey, cho cho chocolatey brown nude, which would be like really, really great. But you know, overall, well, this is the look. Hopefully, it's a look. I feel this feels very retro. It feels like I went back in time, like the '80s or something. But like I said, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have chosen this lipstick. All the other lipsticks, it's all right. I like I said. Hopefully, if I get this, if I get shiny makeup products again, hopefully I can find like a chocolate thing with it, cause this will look great. Oh my gosh, look great, especially black lipstick. Black, yeah, this will look great. Either way, that's my video, guys. So let me know how I did. I'm still learning, and I love my makeup. I love the eyes. I don't like the lipstick. Just saying. If you like this video, slap that like button. Oh, while you're at it, you might as well slap that subscribe button so you see more of my silly ass and hopefully I don't look like a clown. Till next time, people. Bye. Yeah, sorry. I couldn't help it. I just had to see what it looked like in black lipstick. Ah! I told you. This looks so much better. This looks so much better. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, well, I'm a fan of black lipstick anyway, but uh, come on. Come on. Come on. The red or the black. You already know my pick. But now it's time for you guys to pick. And this is this is this this didn't come with shot with the shiny um makeup bag. It came a box. I keep saying bag. Box. It didn't come in the makeup box. This is actually a CoverGirl product, so yeah, I just had to see what it looked like. Mm. I wish it had this in the in the bag. Oh, I would have felt so proud of myself. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. I just had to add this little piece in there because, like I said, black lipstick or chocolatey choc chocolate brown would look great with this eye look. Just saying. That's all I'm saying. Now I'm out. Later. <laughs>